Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new, my name's Yuki and today I thought I would show you guys my most worn jeans. I love wearing jeans. I didn't realize this until I went back and compiled my favorite ones but these are all under $50. Super excited to show you guys because you don't need to invest a lot of money in a good pair of jeans. I'm going to be showing you guys my most worn jeans. They are all right here and I'm really excited to show you what they are. I love them all so much. I'm going to talk you guys through some of my criteria when I'm shopping for jeans and how I make my jeans look good and work for me and my wardrobe. So if you're interested in seeing what these jeans are, just keep watching. So the first criteria that I look for when I'm shopping for a pair of jeans is the rise. I only buy high rise jeans from my own experience. I just think that they look the most flattering for my body. I have a longer torso in comparison to my legs. So I really like that the high rise elongates your legs. As a rule, I only buy high rise jeans now. I just wear them the most and I just think that they look the most flattering on me. The second criteria is obviously the fit. I do have bigger thighs, so it is harder for me to find jeans that fit me both at my hips and at my waist usually it's one or the other so sometimes if I really love a pair of jeans if it fits me really well at my legs and at my hips but there is just a waist gap I will usually go and get the waist taken in so that that fits me overall and that is something I recommend everyone do because they're kind of tailored to fit my body and it just makes your whole outfit look that much more presentable and cute. Obviously it is nice when the jeans fit me everywhere but since that's kind of hard for me to find I usually opt to get them tailored afterwards. The next criteria I look for is the length of the jeans. I am 5'7 so I typically don't gravitate towards like crop jeans because they end up looking just a little too cropped and my inseam is 28 inches. The longest inseam I'll go for is 30 inch. Anything longer than that just looks too sloppy. On the crop side, I don't go below 27 inseam. When I'm online shopping, I usually try to look for the inseam on the website. Sometimes if you're shopping at like H&M or Zara, they don't tell you, but sometimes they'll tell you the height of the model and then you can compare that to yourself. So I tend to do that a lot when I'm online shopping. And even if they don't give you the measurements, I kind of just assume that they're like 5'9 because that's what they usually are. And I just try to gauge how long it looks on them and then kind of just imagine what they look like on me. One more criteria that I look for is the material of the jeans. I typically prefer jeans to be on the stiffer side just because I know that they'll last a bit longer. Really don't tend to go for jeans that have a lot of stretch anymore because if they start off stretchy then I find that they just stretch out and get misshapen. My measurements, I'll leave them in the description box but I'm 5'7", I have a 26 inch waist and 37 hips. So I hope this helps you if you have like a similar body type. With that being said, let's get into the first pair. And the first pair I have to show you is this pair of dark wash mom jeans from H&M. These are very high waisted. They're kind of a looser fit. They're a true mom jean in my opinion because they are kind of that more looser, relaxed kind of feel. They are from H&M. So I think for the price of them, I, they are a really great value for their money. These are a size four. They hit me right at the ankles. Didn't need to get these altered at all. And they fit me pretty well. There is just a little bit of space at the waist, but I feel like it's not something that's so loose that I can't get away with it. It is also nice to be able to tuck a sweater in to these jeans and I do like wearing dark wash jeans um, more towards like fall and winter time so I am usually wearing a sweater at that point so I'm really enjoying these they are 96% cotton and size 4 so they are kind of like that low stretch like zipper denim but still very comfortable because they are still like soft it's not super thick so it's a good balance between like durability and comfort so really enjoying these if you guys follow me on Instagram you'll see them out there as well um, most most of these jeans have made appearances on my Instagram. Check that out if you want to see more pictures. These are the first pair. I also love that there's no distressing on these. So they're a little bit more versatile. You can still dress them up and look presentable or you can dress them down with like a crop top and look, you know, casual. So. There's nothing but space in between you and I. It's okay that we change. So the next pair of jeans I have is from The Gap. These are one of my favorite jeans. They are so, so comfortable. And these are kind of a true like straight leg pair of jeans. They are on the shorter side, but again, they're not so short that I don't want to wear them anymore. Also, no distressing. They're a little bit lighter than the H&M ones, but medium to dark wash. In terms of stretch, these do have a little bit more stretch than the 
H&M ones that I showed you. I have this one in a size 26. They are the cheeky curvy straight jeans at Gap. And I checked on the Gap website and they don't actually sell this exact model anymore, which I'm really, really upset about. I wish they hadn't discontinued it because these actually fit me at the waist and at the hips perfectly. There's no waist gap. The hips fit. It makes my butt look amazing. These are 99% cotton. Given the feel, it is still like a pretty thick denim. So I'm really enjoying these. They're super high rise once again. These are my go-to pair. So the next pair of jeans is from Topshop. They are this pair of light wash straight leg jeans. They actually come with the little split hems. So it kind of fits like a flare sometimes, but I think it's a really cool, interesting detail. I just think that they are such a unique pair of jeans. So I'm really happy I found these. I think I found them on sale for like half off and my size was like one of the only sizes that they had left. So I think it was meant to be that I was gonna buy this pair. These are actually 100% cotton on the softer side and have a little bit of stretch to them as well. Super high-waisted, there's no distress and it's a button fly. They're really good like all year round kind of jean because they are light wash and not super super thick. They are wearable in the spring and summer as well. I just love the split hem. I think it's so interesting. In terms of length, these are on the longer side but they're not like dragging on the floor or anything. Perfect in every way. I love them so much and they are very comfortable to wear because they have like just a little bit of stretch. So they're really really cute. I love them. This next pair I've had for so many years. It's a pair of vintage Levi's. I bought this secondhand from a thrift store called House of Vintage. If you're from Toronto or if you're in the area, you should definitely check it out. They have a very curated collection of jeans and also like other things like sweatshirts and men's shirts. Do definitely have like that baggier look, but they are very high-waisted. I did get them hemmed when I bought them. Highly recommend getting vintage denim because they have like that worn-in look. You don't have to break them in somebody already did that for you and it just feels so nice you just know that you're getting like such a high quality piece of clothing and it's just got so much character i just love the way that it looks these are my favorite pair of vintage denim i wear them all the time and a lot of you guys ask me where i got these jeans from from my older videos so i highly recommend thrifting your denim if you have a chance to these have no distressing on them they are perfectly worn in and they're such a great pair of light wash mom jeans I never saw I should have told you that I loved you One more time One more time the last pair I have to show you guys is this black pair of high-waisted straight leg jeans. These are from Zara. These are cropped denim, so they have a little bit of distressing right at the end. There's no distressing anywhere else except for the hem. These definitely are a pair of stiffer denim. Zara actually makes great affordable denim. Sometimes they're a little bit short, but they fit my body pretty well. And when I got these, they were actually a bit big on my waist, but they fit my hips perfectly. So I actually did get the waist taken in. Now both fit me perfectly, look so good. There's not a lot of stretch in these jeans. So that's definitely helped it keep its shape after wear. And I just think that they are are a really good quality pair of jeans for how much I paid for them. They do also have a button fly, which is really nice. It keeps the entire fly area looking really flat. It says that it is 100% ecologically grown cotton, and I'm not really sure what that means, but yeah, they are 100% cotton, very stiff, very thick, good quality, and I love them. I should have told you that I loved you one more time, one more time. One more time so those are all of the jeans. I hope you enjoyed this affordable denim collection. These are truly the most worn pairs of jeans in my collection. I did not pick them because they are affordable, but truly just because I love them so much. These are truly the jeans that I wear and love, and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video too. So if you did, please don't forget to subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and I hope you guys all have a really great week, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Thank you.